Hey guys, welcome back to your local real estate market update here in the high desert. Today we're going to go over everything that's hap happening locally here in the high desert in Victorville, Hesperia, Apple Valley, and Oak Hills. We're going to break down all the numbers for you, okay? What kind of market are we in? What's happening with the interest rates? Okay, what's happening with all the new changes in real estate? Yes, we're gonna go over a little bit of everything. Okay, so if that's what you're looking for, your local real estate market update, that's what we're gonna go over here with you with the Living in the High Desert real estate team. All right, guys, let's get guys, into let's it. Get into your local real estate market update. We're still seeing a strong seller's market, okay? I know homes are not flying off the shelf, but okay, we're still seeing a strong seller's market. So we're still in that seller's market. Okay, we're still seeing um, buyers hesitate a little bit, okay? But, and the homes are taking a little longer to sell, but that's why I wanted to give you your local real estate market update and go over what's happening in the real estate market, okay? So with the interest rates, I'm pretty sure you all heard that interest rates did go down and they're going to continue to go down another one, one more time. And then they're going to continue to go down by end next year in 2025 as well. Okay. But I want to kind of touch, I want to touch on a couple of things because a lot of people are still on the fence thinking that the interest rates are going to go all the way down to 3%. Okay. And I'm here to tell you, I don't think they're going to go down that much okay but they are going to go down but i don't think they're going to go down back down to three percent okay if you can see a lot of people are still thinking they're going to that they're going to get multiple offers when they put their home up for sale and they're thinking that it's going to sell in a day okay if you price your home correctly those that could still happen for you but we're seeing longer days on market which we're going to cover Okay, we're, see, we're still seeing people uh, giving close to asking. Doesn't mean that the house appraises, okay? And we're gonna cover that too, okay? There's a lot of things that are happening, especially here in the high desert, because we're seeing a lot of people, buyers, that are coming from LA, Inglewood, Inglewood, Downey, Long Beach, okay, still coming from all these areas from Los Angeles to move here to the high desert. And a lot of these buyers, they don't want to buy a fixer upper. Okay. A lot of these buyers are looking for homes that have these, uh, have some kind of an up upgrade to the properties. Okay. Doesn't have to be completely done, but they want to move in and not have to worry about doing a lot of the upgrades because yes, a lot of people do have to still commute to go to work or they have to do other things and they don't want to worry about doing updates to their new home okay so what do i mean by updates if you're a home seller and you're preparing your home here in the high desert to put it on the market for, for sale there's a couple of things that i want you to know that home buyers are looking for okay they are looking for a laminate floor okay they don't want carpet maybe in the bedrooms you could do carpet still but they want laminate floor and the other areas or tile they are looking for granite countertops in the kitchen, even if the kitchen cabinets are not redone. I mean, they're happy as long as it has like a granite countertop. Uh, light fixtures have been changed in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the living room, okay? Uh, they're looking for the home to be repainted, okay? I mean, just white, just a glossy white or, okay, an eggshell white. They're not looking for that much upgrades but they do want to come into a home where they don't have to come in and start redoing everything all at once, okay? So this is just the type of things that I'm hearing from the buyers that are contacting us. This is the feedback that we're getting, okay? And the houses that we're showing, because we're showing some houses that, yeah, they're under market, they're at a good price, but some of these buyers, they don't want to submit offers to those properties. They rather submit a higher offer for a house that doesn't need that much work. Okay. I hope this, I hope all my info brings you a lot of value, especially if you're a home seller here in the HD, you're getting your home ready. 
Okay, if you need us to come in there and give you a free consultation, we can go ahead and uh, go sit down. Laura can go ahead and sit down with you, break down everything that you could do, what's going to be in a cheaper, okay, like they, if you have a budget, you know, we'll try to recommend the best things for you to do for your property, okay? So don't try to figure it out by yourself. Let us help you. Let us guide you, okay? So yes. We are seeing a lot of changes, especially right now in the real estate market. Thing, homes are sitting longer on the market, okay? <laughs> You're not seeing multiple offers, okay? Things are um, moving a little slower, but doesn't mean that homes are not selling, okay? If you price your home correctly, okay, I always keep, I keep telling you this, if you're pricing your home correctly, if you're working with an agent, you put your home up for sale, you don't see any offers by week two, okay? Maybe it's time your agent should be meeting with you every week, giving you an update, letting you know what's going on in the market, giving you the feedback of the agents, telling you, oh, uh, this the buyer said this, or that they recommend this, or the price is too high, or this they maybe they didn't like a certain item, okay? So that way you can go ahead and see what needs to be done to get your home ready okay and for those buyers that are going to come in and see your property and maybe that buyer can put submit that offer okay so yeah don't hesitate to you know make sure that your agent is keeping you updated giving you the feedback letting you know what's happening and then by week two if you don't have an offer maybe it's time to see what the your price, okay, maybe adjust your price to the condition of your home. Sometimes you can price it and you think it's a good price, but you, then you've seen, you don't have no offers, you have to reevaluate and maybe lower uh, just a little, and then you'll start seeing more offers and seeing more activity on your home, okay? Just a little bit of advice, okay? So <laughs> you have to start, every week you have to start seeing what's going on, see the feedback, Okay, communicate with your agent. Your agent should be communicating with you every week, letting you know what's happening, okay? So that's for the for the sellers, okay? So yes, we are still in a seller's market. Interest rates are still, you know, moving down. That's good for home sellers and for home sellers and home buyers, right? Because that's what a lot of home buyers are waiting uh, to, for the interest rates to drop down a little longer, okay? A little longer, a little more. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys. So, all right, guys. So let's touch on another thing that I wanted to uh, go over with you. And that is the sellers paying a buyer's commission and a listing commission. Okay. Yes. Things have changed. Yes. The seller, uh, it is negotiable to uh, pay your uh, listing agent and then see if you are uh, wanting to negotiate a buyer's commission. And I'm here to tell you that this is what we're seeing. We're still seeing buyer's agent, okay, writing up offers and trying to negotiate their commission. Okay, so just be open. I know, I, like I tell all the sellers, just be open, see what's gonna fit you best and your family, and then go from there, okay? Just keep an open mind that if you do get a good offer and. Uh, maybe they do want you to pay a buyer's commission. If it's a, the right offer for you, I'm pretty sure you're gonna go ahead, review the offer, and then see if that is you agree to pay that or if you don't, okay? That simple. All right, so moving forward, I know things have changed with commissions, but just keep an open mind that if you do get a good offer and that um, offer comes in from a buyer's agent and they're asking their buyer needs help with paying their buyer's agent, okay, be open to negotiate. That's all I can tell you, okay? Now, also for buyers looking to buy homes out here in the high desert, before we even start showing you homes, yes, we're gonna need a buyer's come agreement actually sign, and we also need to negotiate our, our commission with the buyer, okay? But like I'm telling all the buyers, we are gonna negotiate or try to negotiate that commission with the seller okay everything is still negotiable okay <laughs> and um we're looking to help as many buyers and make it as comfortable for the buyers 
Two, write these offers, okay? Be comfortable with us uh, showing them homes, okay? I know things are changing and when things first start, you know, when it's something different and new, okay? People get a little, okay, iffy about things, okay? Um, I know that a lot of buyers might not want to sign this uh, buyer's agreement, but now we need to have it signed before we start showing homes, okay? So uh, I know that there's a lot, there's probably a lot of questions. I did do a video, I'm gonna put it right here, okay? Any, if you have any questions on how it's working or what's going on with the whole commission or compensation, okay? I did a video on my channel. Okay, let's Start move here. on. So let's dive right into the numbers, okay? So let's go over the monthly supply that we're seeing here in the high desert. Okay, we're gonna go break it down by area, okay? So um, let's talk about your uh, monthly supply of homes in the city of Victorville. Okay, so in the city of Victorville, we have 2.9 month supply of homes in the market, okay? In Hesperia, California, where we have a 2.9 monthly supply of homes in the market. In Apple Valley, we have a 3.5 monthly supply of homes in the market, okay? In Oak Hills, we have a seven month supply of homes on the market, okay? All right, so let's talk about the medium days on market for homes that are for sale here in the high desert, okay? In Victorville, the medium days on market is 16 days. In Hesperia, the medium days on market is 25 days. In Apple Valley, the medium days, of mar days on market is 25 days. And in Oak Hills, the days on market is 38 days. So as you can see, the medium days on market for homes here in the high desert, okay, uh, we broke it down to you. Okay, this indicates that homes are selling quickly still. So buyers need to act fast when they are finding the property that they love, okay? Let's talk about, and finally, Let's talk about the medium sold price here in the high desert. Okay, I know that uh, this is gonna make a big difference if you're a home seller, seeing if you wanna list your home, or even if you're a buyer looking to see if the high desert is gonna be a, a area for you, okay? I know that these medium home sales price make a big difference, okay? So in Victorville, the medium home sales price, it's 440,000. Hesperia, California, medium home sales price is 460,000. In Apple Valley, the medium home sales price is 450,000. In Oak Hills, the medium home, home in Oak Hills, the medium home sales price is 596,000, okay? I also wanted to break down how many active listings we have on the market currently, okay? So in Victorville, we have 366 active listings. In Hesperia, we have 224 active listings. And in Apple Valley, we have 292 active listings. And in Oak Hills, we have 62 active listings. Okay, so as you can see, the market is just trying to see where it's gonna go. That's how I feel, okay? There's still uh, home sellers wanting to get the best price for their home, I get it, okay? But it's always good to see where you're gonna be at because you do not want to list your home and because your agent's not communicating with you, you become an expired listing, okay? That just makes the buyer feel that something's wrong with your home, okay? we just actually closed down, we closed on a sale here in Apple Valley where uh, the seller was an expired listing, okay? And it was a little tough to get him the right offer because a lot of the agents were like, oh, well, he was trying to sell it 
he was on the market before what happened is there something wrong with the house okay and i'm pretty sure that if you were a buyer you're going to be thinking those same things and have the same questions if you see a house that went on the market and now it didn't sell and now they're the seller's trying to list it again okay because it was on the market for six months okay so that's why it's so important and it's crucial especially right now okay to hire the right agent the right listing agent that's going to give you your updates going to tell you what the market is doing and be honest with you okay because a lot of the agents they just want to take your listing and that's it they don't want to tell you the truth okay so i just <laughs> i just this is why i'm doing all these videos so that you can be better informed when it's time to either sell your home or buy a home here in the high desert okay all right guys so whether you're a buyer or a seller okay knowing the current market condition is essential okay for making an informed decision if you have any questions or you are thinking about buying or selling selling your home here in the high desert don't hesitate okay to reach out to me angelica bonilla here uh, with the living in the high desert team and the bonilla group an excellent real estate okay i'm here to help you navigate this real estate market there's a lot of changes a lot of things that we need to go over okay and um, help you close with confidence thank you so much again I, you know how i do it angelica bonilla here thank you for watching leave me a comment down below what do you think of all the updates all the changes uh, what do you think of how the market's doing okay um leave me a comment okay until next time thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel okay bye guys